Guess what? We got uh, one, two, three, four. Now, this is like the fifth, no, the sixth craft brewery I even heard of in Alberta. Uh, we got uh, Big Rock Brewery is the big one that everyone's probably heard about. Then we got Wild Rose, probably the next most uh, famous. And then uh, um, Alley Cat after that. Those are all pretty big. Uh, Wild Rose and Alley Cat. Alley Cat's out of Edmonton. Big Rock and um, Wild Rose are out of Calgary. We got one out of Canmore. We got another one out of Calgary called Tool Shed. And then this is the Ribstone Creek. So what's Ribstone Creek Brewing as a brand new brewery out of Alberta? Domestic Pale Lager. All right. So we're going to drink this out of a coffee cup. Oh, and this one's overfilled. Or I just, like, been jumping around with it or some shit. So, uh... Yeah, I kind of, it says lager on the can, and I thought, no way, a domestic pale lager out of Edgerton, Alberta. I don't even know where the fuck Edgerton is. I've lived here my whole life. Edgerton, Alberta? Where the fuck is that? Edgerton, Alberta. Don't even, that's probably between fucking Fort McMurray and Peace River. Would be my best. <laughs> it's fucking right up by Nunavut. You know what I'm saying? So let's get a headshot on here. Actually, I had one of these uh, previously. Um, you know, so I bought another one. To, I'm really like exploring Ribstone Creek here. Here's the can. Let's just get real thorough on this. So they got a buffalo and some barley, right? And uh, 1855215 beer. Ribstone Creek Brewery.ca. 5% alcohol by volume. Alberta brewed. And I got this at Andrew Hilton in Lethbridge here. So, heads dissipating. Well, I have to say, it's not bad for a domestic pale lager. Um. It's, it's a very typical. I think a lot of people would really like this. Any domestic pale lager person would love this. This would be like the the primo. This is like the primo domestic pale lager. So as for domestic pale lager, it doesn't get much better than this. But the prolonged finish is kind of... I'm feeling corn. I'm not going to accuse them of corn because sometimes these, these ones, you might think they have corn, but sometimes they don't. But I think this one does. Uh, but it is very clean. You know, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't have corn, but it is very clean. Heads dissipating is is very uh, cool, refreshing. Great start in the middle of the beer. It's a little bit sweet in the middle. Not a whole lot of hops to speak of. It's just a picture-perfect domestic pale lager. The body's kind of flat. I'm not getting a whole lot of CO2 in there, so it's going down very easy. This is a very drinkable domestic pale lager. Um... I'm drinking out of a coffee cup because, like, this is the first time I've ever reviewed a beer out of a coffee cup. Um, so, like, you see the head has turned into that in the four minutes, like, uh, three minutes, really, because a minute of that was guitar. And uh, three minutes, the head has disappeared. It looks like kind of swamp scuzz. Oh, I don't know. I think my alcohol, my alc my alcohol tolerance is way up. I've, um, uh, okay, I don't want to embarrass myself, but I'm drinking the Kirkland German Lager, and then I went to the Kirkland Amber Ale, and then I had the Kirkland Indian Pale Ale, <laughs> and then I had the Kirkland Pale Ale, and then I had another Adnams Ghost Ship. 
I'm, I'm feeling fine. I'm totally okay. But um, Kirkland beer isn't that bad. It was, what was it, uh, 37 bucks for 24 That's a pretty good deal. Uh, if, and I'm going to review those, uh, so stay tuned for the Kirkland Tasters Pack. And I don't normally buy 24 packs, but I had to buy 24 pack for this one. But it's a good deal, and you know I, I was, I'm actually not upset about it or anything because it's definitely above my expe expectations for the price. So as for this one, as for Adam's Ghost Ship, I'm really having a hard time getting it uh, um, at the right temperature. It's a little bit weak up front, but I will be reviewing that one. I have a review of it already, and just deciding. I got one more, and I'm just deciding which one should I review. You know, which one should I post? Uh, what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna review it again, and I'm gonna choose between the two um, because it is expensive shit, and I wanna I wanna do that one right. I wanna do this one right too, man. Ripstone Creek, uh, Edgerton, Alberta. Represent. So I, I'm not gonna be negative on this beer because we're looking at it as domestic pale lager, right? And it's, it's exceptional for domestic pale lager. A lot of people are really going to like this. But I mean, I don't know what their strategy is because this is kind of eludes me. And you know, like I think I know everything like everybody else. But is that a good strategy? You know? You open a new brewery in Alberta and Edgerton and you're brewing. Um, you're competing with brew house. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not really what I would do, you know? It's got a, it's got a nice finish, really. Um, sweet, sweet, just before the finish. Um, it's, it's a beautiful domestic pale locker. I mean, really, it's, uh, it's, it's quite well done. Yeah, for the style, I, I mean, I would give this a 9 out of 10. Basically, I mean, it's it's great. It, it's going to give you a headache. It's going to give me a headache. And, like, I drank all those other beers. And no sign of a headache. And I'm halfway through this one, and all of a sudden, the headache starts to come in. So, for me, personally, I, I it's not that I don't like the flavor as much as I don't like what this kind of stuff does to me. And I'm not even necessarily accusing corn as the main... Um, proponent of this fucking sickness that comes upon me when I drink this because I mean there you have to look at yeast and and brute you know at fermentation time I mean if there's too much histamines left in the beer that can cause hangover uh, that 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 nasty aftertaste isn't necessarily always corn like you can't taste cream corn in the ones that are corn but I mean there's some deceiving uh, flavors out there like there's a lot of these beers you think would have corn in them and they don't necessarily do and there's a lot of other beers that do have corn in them and you would think that they don't so I don't, i'm not i'm not just gonna blame corn i'm not gonna like jump into blaming corn maybe I, i'm not even certain there's corn in this beer but it definitely has a little bit of a nasty finish like that but it, it actually this is a pretty solid for domestic pale like i said like i said i give a nine out of out of 11 for domestic pale no problem It, it could be a little bit, I don't like the flavor profile entirely, it's a little bit heavy, sweet, malty, it's definitely what a lot of people want, it's definitely a, a party beer, that kind of thing. I, I it, For domestic pale, for me, it has to be pretty clean before I really like it, like, like there's certain ones I like because they are clean, and this and that. And they don't have a bad aftertaste, you know, like, if it wasn't for Budweiser having a horrible aftertaste, I would like it because it is clean up front. Or, uh, I like Rolling Rock because it's pretty clean. Or, even though it's not the greatest beer, but for Domestic Pale Lager, I look at it as clean. So, huge drunken rant by Beer Zerker on Ribstone Creek. 5% alcohol by volume. What are we really going to give it as a rate? Well, I def definitely go about 7 out of 11 on my domestic pails for this i'm going to give it a solid seven i i don't think i mean it might be a little bit lower for you i'm not going to give it a zero or anything stupid like that i mean i've had craft brews that are are aren't worthy to lick the shit off the heels of ribstone creek so what did i say did i did i what i meant to say i don't know what i just said <laughs> 
There are craft beers out there that aren't worthy to lick the shit off the heels of Ribstone Creek, and I mean that. And it's it's just a, it's just a sickness. It's just a disease that's spreading amongst the community, and I don't like that because I would rather people buy Ribstone Creek and be like, hmm, it was just beer, you know, kind of thing, as to go out there and say, I just hate to see the person that tries a brown ale for the first time and they get some extract brewed fucked up disaster that's that's horrible and, and not even as good as Bud Light or or uh, or Lucky Lager really I mean some of these ones are worse than Lucky Lager I would rather them drink Lucky Lager than to get the wrong idea about a brown ale or the wrong idea about a stout or the wrong idea uh, about these other like an IPA I've had IPAs I've had wheat beers that are abominable so that's why I get a little bit of respect for these guys so like I don't know what the price is on this but I would definitely rather have this than a brew house this is as this is better than Molson Canadian it really is uh, Molson Canadian kind of tastes like a dirty sock to me This is much cleaner than Molson Canadian. Um, so I mean, for the price, I think this would probably be somewhere par with it, Molson Canadian. So if you're gonna, if you're thinking of like, should I get this or Molson Canadian? Try this one; it's much, it's much better. Um, and I mean that it's not just a matter of opinion; it's just a fact. I mean, this is better than Molson. It's better than Coors Banquet, and it's better than. Uh, you know, I mean, it's I don't mind Labatt Blue so much, though it is quite expensive out here. But it is kind of like that, but maybe even better. This is a little bit more round, a little more full. Um, flatter in the carbonation and shit. But, I mean, Riverstone Creek, I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 11. It's pretty good for domestic pale. Preserker, that's all I can say. And I'm excited. I'm excited tonight. That's why this is, you know, it's my intensity. I'm, I'm uh, emitting intensity amongst you all right so uh don't mind that i had cheesies i had my carbs for the night so i got some energy so ribstone creek you'll probably never see this beer you probably never have the opportunity to drink it i don't even know where the fuck edgerton alberta is and i live in alberta never fucking heard of edgerton must be up north i mean uh bizarre shit berserker is a seven it's a fabulous domestic pale, but that's as far as that shit goes. And I am out! Yeah!